1,656. We've got the 12 tin case break. Oh, that noise is just god awful. I'm going to have to make some more room on this table eventually. That's what you're saying. Well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe it works, right? Let's hope it does. Perspective for L. A. of Velarde. Canvas for Buffalo of Cousins. Dazzlers of Voracek for Philly. Young Guns of Lind for Vancouver. Retrospective of Ottinger for Dallas. Canvas for Montreal of Suzuki. Said, man, tonight is going to be a lot of boxes broken. That is crazy. Portraits for San Jose of Brent Burns. And not a healthy start. Young Guns. Trevor Zegras. Highly recommend getting that puppy graded, by the way. Congrats to Anaheim so far. Again, you might still get more than one. Uh, sorry, which one is 659? I do apologize. If you don't mind, let me know. Yeah, if you want to do the checkout, if that is yours, David, congrats. Uh, the two-day special is the best deal that we have right now. So I would definitely do that one. And obviously just put in the title Zegris, but hey, we might get another one. Canvas of McKinnon for the Avs. So hopefully, hopefully you get several. That'd be really kind of cool. Dazzlers for Carolina of Tara Vinen. Young Guns of Kersteed for Florida. Retrospective for the Islanders of Sorokin. Oh no, pack down, pack down. On a roll of Washington. Ovechkin. <laughs> Base. So game worn. I know you do keep tabs. I know you do keep tabs. Young Guns of Davies for Nashville. But I guess that's my card now. Recount. Hundo P of Bergeron for Boston. Which team had the most hits? I don't know if you did uh, calculate that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? I would like to grade the Zegras. Do you own it? No. But I would pay for it. <laughs> Generous man. Generous man, David, you are. <laughs> You'll trade for Anaheim. All right. Well, I guess that's a deal, right? Portrait for Washington of Mantha. I was just saying, I'm curious what team had the most hits in that monster. Young Guns of Joshua for the Blues. Hundo P for the Rangers of Fox. We got a Couturier for Philadelphia Canvas. 
Dazzlers for Vancouver. Brock Besser. We got a young gun of Burroughs for the Avs. Electro of Nico Heeshear for the Devils. And an honor roll for Florida of Huberto. Does anyone know, is uh, Jack Hughes playing in the game tonight? Or is he still uh, a bit injured? Anybody know the answer to that question? Honor roll for Tampa of Hedman. Base. Young guns of Thompson for the Devils. No Hughes. Okay. Hundo P for Chicago of Keith. Did Bedard get a point on the first goal? Kopitar, L.A. Canvas. Or did he score? There is Luke Hughes. Oh, yeah. Dazzlers for the Red Wings, Verana. Young end of Cates. For Philly. And a retrospective for Washington of Vonacek. No? Bad. I had a customer in today tell me that he already considers Bedard a bust. I don't really understand what people's expectations of that kid was supposed to be. But how was it? Five goals in ten games? somehow certifies you as a bust as an 18 year old oh boy like literally the debate was he's a bust and i was like what honestly did you expect if you consider that a bust dazzlers for the devils of jack hughes always a guy that i'm like yeah he should have had like 15 goals by now young gun of joshua for the blues like, what a scrub. Hall? Okay, thanks. Hundo P of Sean Couturier for Philly. Honor roll for the Maple Leafs of Marner. We've got a debut date jersey of Leonard for the Sharks. Yep, I, I've always said I give a rookie till about 22. I would say after 22, Young Guns Zahorna for the Penguins. If he hasn't done much, then I feel like you can certify that guy as a bust. Debut for the Hawks of Lankinen. Like, I still wouldn't even consider Slavkovsky a bust right now. Or Shane Wright. Canvas of JVR for Philly. Like, yes, are they underperforming? Absolutely. That's no question about that. But are they a bust? I don't think you can call a second year player, you know, a bust. But they are absolutely underperforming. I will give them that. Canvas of Ricard Raquel for the Ducks. The other thing is, not that it really matters. He's also like a very, very, very fresh 18, is he not? Portraits of Hughes for the Devils. Like, wasn't his cutoff literally right on the cusp of uh, the 18 or whatever? 
Young Guns for Tampa of Barry Boulet. Debut for the Hawks of Pui Suter. I thought he was like draft eligible like three days or something. Canvas for the Oilers of Tyson Berry. Dazzlers for Buffalo of Darling. Young Guns Checklist, Caulfield Zegris. So that'll be a random unless we get two of them. And an Electro of Bobrovsky for Florida. Like, in my opinion, James, I think we were very well over-treated with McDavid and Matthews back-to-back -back, that I feel like we expected any rookie to basically come out and get, like, you know, 40 goals and, like, 70 points. Like, I feel like that was ex expectations. Which is ridiculously high. <laughs> We got a debut of Connor McMichael for the Caps. Canvas for Calgary of Backlund. Portrait of Marner for the Leafs. Like, I'm still a believer. I think Bedard will get 35 to 40 goals. Young Guns for Vancouver of Michaelis. Which is pretty damn ridiculous for an 18-year-old. Hundo P for Vegas of Stone. Canvas for Pittsburgh of Brian Rust. Dazzlers for the Maple Leafs. Mitch Marner. Young Guns of Keen for the Canes. Yeah, that's kind of funny, actually. I like that comparison, David. That'd probably go pretty badly for a lot of people, wouldn't it? We've got a Dazzlers for the Avalanche of New Hook. Man, this blog room is going to need a massive cleanup after tonight. Holy jeez. Young Guns of Walcott for Tampa. There's boxes, there's pins, there's singles everywhere. So much stuff. Debut dates for the Devils of Sharon Golvich. Canvas of TJ Oshie for the Caps. Portrait of Crosby for the Penguins. Young Guns of Veal for the Sharks. Retrospective Tolvanen for Nashville. Canvas P.K. Subban for the Devils. All right, let's keep it rolling. rolling. And then I believe after this one, guys, I'll probably bang out the extended. Probably. Gonna be pushing 10 p.m. Oh, I bet you, David, I might be pushing 11. Canvas of Bergeron for Boston. The last like week or two, I think, was it this week with SBA? I've had a lot of late nights this week. Dazzlers for Winnipeg of Hellebuck. I think SBA was till about 10 or 11. Then I believe Thursday I was on till about 11. Young Guns for Ottawa, Pinto. Uh, gold once again. Is that cup? Then yes. Debut of McMichael for the Caps. Anything that is filled tonight gold will go tonight. Young Guns Canvas, colon, for Vancouver. So whatever breaks you guys fill, I will do. If you guys fill every single break, I will be on for the whole night and break them all.
Young Guns for the Rangers of Baron. And an Electro of Line for the Jackets. I have done a very late night of breaks before. Quite a few times. I hope I don't ever break my record of my latest night ever because although it was fun, I really wish I don't do that many times in my life. That was a long time ago, but that was a fun evening. But I definitely remembered that one. Young Guns of Benoit for the Ducks. So, David, back in the day, we used to go on a 615. Debut for the Penguins of Joseph. And I was doing breaks till 7 in the morning. Canvas of Kopitar for LA. Dazzlers for the Winnipeg Jets of Hellebuck. So that was my longest evening. Yep. Young Guns for the Anaheim Ducks of Drysdale. So we had one customer, and I remember the two products he was cracking. Young Guns of Thompson for the Devils. Um, cleared the site. Yeah, we'd need a lot longer than that. Farabee Electro for Philly. Um, no, Golden, what it was, on a roll, Marshawn for Boston. It was the oddball time that two releases happened with Panini and Upper Deck. It was 13-14 Black Diamond and 13-14 uh, Contenders, I believe it was. I believe it was Contenders. It might have been 12-13 Black Diamond and 12-13 Contenders. So Panini had their release, Upper Deck had their release. We had one guy who just decided to go balls to the wall... And uh, he ended up doing four, after both of my releases, keep in mind, he ended up doing four cases. And keep in mind, for those that don't know, guys, Black Diamond back in the day was not Black Diamond nowadays. Darlene Electro for Buffalo. It was exactly like Series 1 where it had like 20-odd packs. On a roll of Dre Sato for the Oilers. So he ended up doing four cases of Black Diamond, Dazzlers for Tampa of Point, and four cases of Contenders, which I believe Contenders were 16s or 20s. Young Guns of Pilon for the Caps. So the way, the best way I can describe it, debut dates of Robertson for the Leafs, is imagine right now if I had to just do eight cases of like Series 1. Canvas of Hellebuck for the Jets. But considering I'm pretty sure Contenders was 16 or 20 boxes, it's almost like me doing 12 cases of Series 1. Quinn Hughes, Vancouver. And the funny thing is, for those that remember, I actually had John helping me do the breaks. Young Guns for Nashville of Davies. So honestly, God knows how long it would have taken me if uh, John wasn't helping me with those breaks that night. Uh, he, David, I will tell you, he was, uh, he was in a very good mood, but I will also tell you he was very coherent and there because back in the day, it was a bigger problem than it was now. But if I ever noticed anybody was completely wasted, I would never let them purchase that stuff for me. Robertson, rookie retrospective for Dallas. I'm very against that kind of stuff. Canvas of Hyman for Toronto. Obviously, if I can pick it off. If I can't pick it off, then not my, I can't do anything about it. Portrait for Ottawa of Stutzel. But we have definitely picked off some fun times. There we go. Young Guns. Cole Caulfield. So we start with the Zegris in the first box, I believe it was. And then we finish with a Caulfield in the last box. Hundo P of Barkoff for Florida. Canvas for Dallas of Hints. But David, it was so different back in the day. Dazzlers of McDavid for the Oilers. Like, we were on blog TV. 
Young Guns for Tampa, Barry Boulay. And it would not be uncommon for us to have like 60 to 100 viewers a night. And it's funny because back in the day, if I used to open up that Ovechkin, uh, that signature whatever puck, I would literally have like a list of like 100 comments. Like, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. Nowadays, I can open like a Gretzky auto and I, I might get one person to be like, nice. Glossies. Spencer Knight for Florida, Caulfield, Montreal, and a bronze of York for Philly. When was group break number one? Uh, Glossy for Florida, bronze of Denisenko for Florida, and a Valeno for the Red Wings. Group break number one was a four-box 0809 SBX break. I'm going to say it was 2008. Shane Pinto for Ottawa, Glossy, new hook for the Avs, bronze of Spencer Knight. Yeah, that was, uh, it took 28 days to fill, by the way. New hook for the Avs, Caulfield for Montreal. Bronze of Caulfield for Montreal. Desensitized. Oh, people are definitely. Cam York for Philly, Byfield for LA. Zegris, Copper for the Ducks. But that was a good question. When was my first group break? Yeah, that was fun. It was very crappy, too. Pinto for Ottawa. Uh, new hook for the Avalanche uh, bronze and a Spencer Knight for Florida we have 28 days to fill Spencer Knight for Florida bronze Denisenko for Florida and a Cam York for Philly good I think these are both coppers they kind of suck at doing this one copper of Denisenko for Florida Valeno for the Red Wings copper and a byfield for LA Valeno for the Red Wings, Swayman for Boston, and a Pinto for Ottawa. Bronze. Byfield for LA, Zegris Copper for the Ducks, and a Valeno for the Red Wings. And also, James, to go a step further, I think I had like six spots in that break. Zegris for the Ducks, Swayman for Boston, and a Copper of Valeno for the Red Wings. Copper, or sorry, regular of Knight for Florida, Denisenko for Florida, Cam York for Copper for Philly. And I got to do the left and the right. And also, by the way, I forgot to do the left and the right in the monster, which is the Yashin. So I'm going to have this also account for the Yashin, just for those paying attention. Three times. One, two, and a big three. Right side, Anaheim and Islanders.